Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Miller, and as always, welcome to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. So, what does it mean to diss someone, and what can be the consequences of a diss? We're going to be talking about those issues throughout the program, but we start with this special report by Kalisha Williams. It's in schools. Yeah, all the first one come for me and get this read and show you know, like, just this and this and this. On social media, the Gleaner newspaper wrote that fans of incarcerated dance hall artist Vibes Cartel say Lisa Hanna should be raped for disrespecting Cartel. In songs, then an incident like this happens. The St. Andrew South Police are continuing their search for a man and his mother for questioning in connection with last Wednesday's mob killing of a forklift handler after his vehicle splashed a resident along Ricketts Crescent, St. Andrew, during a heavy downpour. This bad man not get gunshot! Is there a disrespect or, as it's popularly called, a disculture in Jamaica? And why do people take it so seriously? This is Arnett Gardens in Kingston, one of those communities frequently in conflict. Andrew is a resident. You know, grow, and I'm going to say, oh, if your mother or whatever, you know, and you feel hurt about it, you know, sometimes we're not perfect. So sometimes look a fight that could come out. For Timel Allen from Tel Aviv in Kingston, even facial expressions and body language can be seen as this, even when they are not intentional. I'm a pass, I'm a yell a month. I'm a yell every day. I'm a pass to them, I'm a yell. You don't know what I mean, my feelings and my mind. But I'm a yell today, I'm a yell this year. Because I'm supposed to yell every day, I'm a yell. You feel like you're that superpower. At other times, dissing takes the form of slang especially when used to describe gang leaders or persons holding high position in gangs. Yeah, ball a play and man, tell a man, say, boy, you're a bug, you know. Understand, and him friend them say, boy, you're this man, you know. Mm. Look a bit after a gun, rich man get shot, man dead. In Tel Aviv, referring to someone as a bug means the person is behaving in an arrogant or condescending way when he or she is not in a position to do so. Like, say, yo, me, better than you, but your friend them say, yo, yeah, 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 you would be a man with power. And your friend them from the bench say, yo, you cannot this to do now, we are the root. And from there they say, it does turn into violence. For Miguel from Arnick Gardens, it all depends on what is said, whether or not that person is a gang leader. Because this is not just a man tell you, say, go ahead. That are this too, but you have more level. So it all depends upon the level of disrespect where you get. You feel like you have to disrespect back somebody. In gangs, disrespect and loyalty are taken seriously. It's usually the leader who decides how people should be punished for being disrespectful. Romeo is a former member of the Scare Them Gang. So if somebody really diss me out of a gang, more time I come show him, so they may tell him, so hold on that, we're going to deal with that. So I really push the power over there now, say, all right, we're going to rise a gun and go. Shoot a man, him deal with it the best way, him can deal with it. Although my friend and say, yo, when I have to tell the boss that no could just go mash up, we forget mash up. And sometimes the punishment is severe. Anything that sees that, that seems to diminish your authority, especially within the gangs. So you can't afford to diss someone or to say something to someone that holds a higher position in the gang or has more influence, and the influence is either by your level of authority the amount of resources and money and guns you have and the control and the respect you get from the other persons because of how you operate. So we have seen where in some instances the, the, the persons, the sanction that they impose in the community sometimes is death. Simply being in the wrong company can cause conflict. Sometimes it's rough, sometimes it's tough. Got you sleep last night sometimes. Sometimes I wonder at the end of the day, more time I don't mean you know. More times, sometimes a friend of mine, friend of mine, and people catch up, you know. But them say for your power with them, you are one of them. So basically, you now me, I link with you, you know, and me, you and people, nothing. 
and people want to hurt you. Me start predicting it, they want to hurt me too. Sometimes dissing leads to violent flare-ups that continue for weeks. Some people just take on to anything with them here and just feel like some people approach are mad, ignorant, and that don't work. Have you seen like for instance your friends or some, I don't know, happen in the community, something like that caused them to lose their life or something like that? Yeah, I see all the things like that. Come see, yes, I see things happen where friends just hear man say something. I know we had to ask the man, he just run out upon him. Hey, who are me? I chat, boom, boom, boom. Nice, stop everything. We're seeing a wide, a wide cross section of persons not being able to deal with conflict effectively, but it's at different levels. So depends on where you are, how you're socialized, then you treat it a particular way. But it is something that we see more in the inner city communities. And this, and, and, and of course, is where we see most of the violence. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay heads the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit. She believes social media has made dissing easier and far more dangerous. In the past, if you diss a man on the corner saying something unfavorable or doing something that it's between you and I and maybe the other few people who sees it. Now, when it comes to the internet and social media, it's global. The Peace Management Initiative has been removing barriers in communities like Denham Town since 2002. A lot of their work is to resolve conflicts that start with a diss. Well, the role of the PMI you know, is to um, foster peace you know, and to try to help youngsters to see a next way of life. You know? So actually bring back community to, to a level of sanity and to, is, a, is a crime prevention organization. Omali Denny is a gang leader turned violence interrupter in Denham Town, West Kingston. A community marked by poor roads, sewage, and yes, crime. Never have a lot of friends again because, you know, when you elevate up on a move from certain things, you have a friend who drop off and all of them, something there. So, them just a loose cannon, so we're just moving forward to try to save youth life in the community and try to make the community better. You know? But you have a, have a lose a lot of friends. My friend, them, own a friend, them all broke my house. Start a, a, a project in our community with some farm thing with some goat and rabbit. Them you know, broke the, the, the goat pen and take a 20, 25 head of goat and some rabbit. But you just have to keep focus on. And, and stand up for where we want, because we know what's right, you know. I lose two brothers on this corner, so that drive, me, that drive me even more. He's responsible for getting hardened gang members to resolve conflicts peacefully. You have to be like a, a universal remote. Anything, you have to switch to them at times, because you have you, if you be too soft, you can feel like, say, your brother move from side of me and anything then. No, if you say, Dan, cool, we can do it how you want it, you know. We are doing it a better way, so we don't want to work with it. Fancy man like me, and I don't know, like people that come around and say, better fancy them money and tell us that, or that are the thing. You know? So once the community come, come against them, some of them just back up into them shell. A gangster talking to a gangster trying to dissuade them from carrying out an attack might be effective as well because there is this respect among themselves because they are brought together. Among, around a common purpose. The Peace Management Initiative on average responds to at least 1,500 conflicts annually, with at least 30 active gun-related disputes per month. The initiative currently has 1,300 potential violence producers in case management. Also, 130 violence interrupters are deployed across 40 communities island-wide. Violence interrupters are trained individuals who go out, goes out in the community to to really deal with violence um, issues the main the main thing for the violence interrupters is to reduce homicides right so you could be a you can be a ex police officer a teacher a football coach somebody in the community with that integrity a pastor our ex gangster. While the PMI has significantly reduced conflicts that had the potential to escalate in many communities, it is clear many Jamaicans continue to act out when they think they are dissed. But why? For Devante Douglas, it's personal. When I tell me about my mother, 
you know, because my mother sick. I take that to my heart, you understand? For others, simply peer pressure. When you get this, you speak your next friend and tell you, say, yo, go kill the man, the dog, and kill the boy. Nobody is not talking to you, so kill him or that. But I have a next friend and know, say, just hold that man, we we'll deal with it. You see? So, so. It's mostly like the pressure, the peer pressure around you, where you tell you, say, yo, you can't take that. Yeah, because more time you have six friends and four, say, kill, you know. The next two, I say, don't kill, and four, I say, kill, you have to work with the four. Power. Yeah, everything in Jamaica, you know, everybody does feel like say them them powerful in certain ways. But sometimes you can't look over certain things, you know. That's why we in the community we have had some violent things around all around the community. So we need to come on and show the youth them that say, brother, we can't go that way there, you know. Sometimes you have to look over things, you know, because sometimes some youth just mind us riding, you know. So I just you have to be the one for us. Calm them down, show them say better. Not you tell about your mother, you gotta you gotta tell him about your mother and younger one got in a violence with him and him something they don't. We can we can solve that. Why well, you to feel like me are the man, you know? When we retaliate and win, you know. But when you take a stack, when you fight, when you no idea I'm gonna find out that that stupidness. Self esteem and ego. You get aggressive and cause you, you have been hurt. And once you have been hurt. The natural thing for do is retaliate back that earth. But it's not all the time you go and retaliate. Lack of opportunities and poverty. Overall, I'm fighting for survival, basically. Because yesterday, somebody didn't have a job, they didn't have nothing to do. You know what is that? They had turned them to rot or turned them to be criminal or be gunman or, you know? Because there's nothing no day in the house, we can't eat and drink. So you must know that feel. Feed one house and nothing though in there. Another organization trying to improve conflict resolution skills is the Dispute Resolution Foundation. The DRF encourages the use of mediation to resolve conflicts. Mediation is actually a, a situation where people are saying, I have a point of view and I'm prepared to do this to resolve it. And the other party is saying, well, I'm prepared to do this. Can we compromise? And eventually they discuss out their issue and find out, okay, we can live with this. Can you live with that? Mediator and chairman of the DRF board, John Bassey, told me most of their cases come straight from the courts. But from April 2018 to April 2019, only 1,340 of the over 27,000 criminal matters in the parish courts were referred to the DRF. Not all matters can be sent for mediation, but he believes even under existing law, there should be more referrals. I think much more should be said. Um, as you are probably aware, in the Supreme Court, we have automatic referral to mediation. In the parish courts, that's the bulwark of all the work of the courts, um, there's a, a strong need for a sustainable amount of mediations to be sent out to mediators. It's very important that we engage there because pe that's first instance where people can in fact have their disputes heard without, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say wasting the judge's time, but in an environment that, hey, you may have not had on the road or at home or to the neighbor, but you have an area where you can get it resolved. Mr. Bassi believes mediation can help to prevent crime. And I encourage everybody to do a mediation course because you get to learn things about yourself. And mediation, you can't just do it one day and forget about it the next day. You live it. Mediation should be in your home, should be with your children, it should be with your co-worker. Um, you should be able to employ these techniques of listening to people and recognizing that they have a point of view. To break the cycle of dissing in Jamaica, SSP Lindsay made this recommendation. We have to, we have to start targeting the, the, the youth at a younger age. So in the past, even with our police youth club, it was for mainly for maybe high schoolers and school leavers, the young people in the community. We're in the basic schools, we're in the primary schools. It is a hard task for deal with, you know. As I tell you, say, the mind of the youth them is peculiar, very strange. If a government, it's complicated for government to understand it. You understand? But the reason why we understand it is because we are living amongst them. Romeo and Andrew are living proof that social intervention works. TMI make me feel like there's hopes. Yeah, there's hopes above. Swear to God. They said, there's God, you know. But we know there's PMI. What them doing? So grateful. Just like the Christ. PMI make. I'm not the over me, I'm not the middle, I'm not the dove cut. Kelisha Williams, 
for all angles.